inside there myself. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be wearing um, spikes on the track tonight for the first time in about three years. Really? Yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd just go for it, and if my calves get torn apart. I used well, to do it all the time. Viewing. I should be fine. It's good viewing. <laughs> like, I should be fine, surely. Mick, because ten I minutes. respect you, I'm going to make sure I make it very public. Surely yeah. I can run sure 10 minutes bare knows. foot and be fine. Hey. Mick's going sub nine tonight. Wet track. I can feel it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's a night to have a lot of foam under your, under your feet. I think it's. I think you need a bit of traction. I think you need the spikes. I don't know. We'll see. Nine. We'll see. I could eat my words here. Sub what nine. spikes we got on here? Are we going to go with the Matumbos? Oh, yeah. Yeah, classics. Um, yeah, the classics. As I said, three years ago since I've worn them. Um, yeah, haven't gone the Dragonflies. Okay, Nath. Mick will run 8.47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nath absolutely towed me up on the track about three weeks ago in a session. So if I can run 8.47, Nath's going to run 7.38. Nath. Underratedly handsome. <laughs> so the men's 800 metres is off now. And once... Okay. So this is going to be about a 28, I reckon. And there's going to be about five guys who run <laughs> it. So they're going to try and work themselves out. I have a feeling maybe Toby Hurst might try to get to the front. But no. He's, well, he's on the inside, but I can't tell if he's at the front. So they've gone through 29, so it wasn't too far off. Now, Hurst has just lost his position, and these boys are now going to move around beautifully on the outside. So working pretty well, but they don't want to get too chopped through the first 250. They all have their head on a swivel again. There's no concrete heads. No one's just looking dead ahead. Everybody wants to know where everybody is. So Hurst tucked in the back there. Good luck finding a spot. we got blokes running three wide. They might as well come past and high-five the commentators while they're at it. They're running that f wide on the track right now. They have about a pack of five right on the outside there. As I mentioned, the wide mark is Thomas Humphreys and tucked in right behind him there, I believe is... Couldn't quite catch it, to be honest. But I know that is Humphreys on the outside. So these boys now are going to try and get moving. Actually, they found another gear. I thought they might have been maxed out, but they were just hiding one behind. Humphreys now moves into second place. In front of him there, couldn't quite see the number as he came past, but geez, does he have magnificent hair in the wind right now. 250 metres, Humphreys right on the tail there, tucked in beautifully is also Hurst. So Hurst might get the beneficiary of the shotgun approach, but here comes Humphreys now, 200 to go. 137 on the clock. Watch these boys move now, 180. They're going to have to really dig in here. There's a pack of four. I don't think it's really over yet with 150 metres to go. Humphreys has no idea the calibre of athlete that's right behind him, Hurst in third nice little sandwich between our two independent athletes there but Humphreys doesn't even look like he put in too much effort but he's absolutely extended away right now the only man who can catch him is Herbs and he's not going to get there so our man in front's going to take it out are they some super shoes 209 on the clock well we they say it's the home of PBs and even on a <laughs> even on a windy windy night like tonight at Box Hill we're yeah, absolutely producing them after a long winter being locked away. Well, I'm impressed. 